Hi, I'm the Nerdy Nifty Nana, and today I'm going to talk about the Kulibu Ball Track System. This is for children ages 2 to 8. It's uh, built by Haba, the company that originally it was an all wood ball track, and actually I do have their older version, which is all wood, uh, but this one is a combination of wood and plastic. Uh, there's a number, this is a combination of sets. Uh, I believe I have a couple of bigger sets and some expansion packs. I think the expansion packs are pretty important. Uh, for example, these tall columns with uh, the connecting blue parts, those are all part of an expansion pack. There's also not a lot of curved pieces in the regular sets, so there's expansion packs that give you more curved pieces, which I think are pretty important if you want to build bigger and more elaborate tracks. I set this up for my two and a half year old granddaughter who's going to be here in a couple of hours and I have found from my past experience that my grandchildren ages four and under are a little bit too young to sit and wait for me to build a track like this. It takes about 45 minutes so I tend to set it up in advance for them especially if I want a bigger one like this and then they um, they will come along and they will run the balls down and I'm going to do that for you right now to show you how that works. My grandchildren all really like those bells at the end. It makes such a, a nice sound. Another um, thing my grandchildren like to do is see multiple balls going down together. This creates a little bit more excitement for them. There's different kinds of balls, so some of them um, have those little happy faces and they have actually have a groove on them which creates some fric friction. Um, they're not quite as smooth as, say, these ones that roll much easier and go faster. This one is a plastic one with some little beads inside. It's very nice to look at, but it's actually probably performance-wise, it's, it's not as good as the others. So my grandchildren have a lot of fun just rolling the balls down. It maybe lasts 15 or 20 minutes just, uh, just playing with it this way. I hope that as they grow that they will learn to design and build the tracks themselves and that will add a lot of play value to them and also give them the opportunity to develop their critical thinking skills through that process. Right now, it's mostly about rolling the balls down uh, the set. There is um, another way to play with Kula Boo, though, and that is to set up one of these flat tracks, such as I have here, and then to use the push car. And the push car is a really well-designed and sturdy little car that all my grandchildren have enjoyed. And you basically just give it a little push and you can push it either way. Um, there's no wrong way to push it. It also plays, it's a really good toy off the track. It works on carpet, it works on hardwood floors. Um, with my grandchildren have had a lot of fun with these cars in many, many different contexts. So this is another way to do it. Um, building the track is fairly simple. Uh, there's these little holes on either side of the track pieces. The connectors have little posts and basically it snaps into place. And the snapping system is easy and straightforward when you have a flat track like this. It's not quite as easy when you have a taller system because then you have less stability and sometimes when you're snapping the pieces into place the whole structure will fall down. But that is part of the learning process of, um, uh, of a set like this, is how to, how to use it, how to build it, how to create stability, how to uh, problem solve and prevent problems from happening. It's a great toy so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to watching this grow with my grandchildren as they grow.